Uh, Reed, hope you're all doing well and welcome to episode 6 of the Leeds United Career Mode. So in this one, we're going to be going through the month of December. Let's have a quick look and see who we've got. Looks like it's an action-packed one as well. There's quite a few games here. There's Huddersfield up first. We're going to be playing Hull City, Cardiff City, Fulham. That should be a big match. Then we've got Preston and then it's Birmingham to close out the episode. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Match against Huddersfield up first then. We're going to attend this press conference. <coughs> Choking. See what they've got to say. Your recent form suggests that you're on track to win the, pre the championship. Do you have enough depth in the squad to maintain your momentum? Our momentum isn't dropping. It's not. We're going to try and push all the way through to the end. There you go. Keep up with positive attitude. The opponents you face today are very hungry for results, considering their league position. Is your team as hungry as they are? They're sitting in 12th. 12th. Really? The lads want it though. Here we go. Have you prepared for the next match against your rival Huddersfield Town? We're ready. Well, wow, lads, come on. I've got a good feeling about this one. Hopefully we can kick things off with a win. There we go. See you later. Here we go then. No changes to the team. Like I said, I hope we can pick up them three points. Be a good start to the episode. Should be a difficult game against Huddersfield, especially since they've not long been in the Premier League. Out with De La Vega. Still De La Vega. Bordeaux's played in. Oh, he should have made it 1-0. Come on, man. I expect more from him. Gibbs White. Plays in Bordeaux this time. And he's missed again. Oh, come on, lad. Corner. Ball's in. Header. Oh, come on. It's like we don't want to score. Look at the state of this, man. Graven Birch gets his head on it. Doesn't even show you the replay. That's what you're talking about, eh? They're in here. Save from Casilla. Whoa. Oh, they're in. What a save from Casilla, man. Bloody hell. Bordeaux. Can he turn it around? He can. Come on, son. 92nd minute winner. Pretty boring game up until this point, I must admit. But he's come in, done the business at the end. What's happening there? Just someone standing in front of the camera as you do. Oh, bloody hell. Gibbs right with the ball through, though. Bordeaux. Glad he's done that, like. 1-0 win there. Left it very, very late. Right is continuing his hot run of form. How satisfied are you with his performance? He deserves all the praise, even though he's going to be leaving. Unbeaten, it's pretty much wow, what it takes. These get boring after a while, like, must admit. It was a very tight match until the end. Your team managed to score the winner the last minute of the match. Luck was on your side, don't you think? Sometimes you need a better luck. You do. Thanks very much. Tra, mate. On this game against the Hull City now, then we're at home, so hopefully we can keep that momentum going. As you can see by the standings there, we're still top. We're still only one point ahead of Stoke though, so hopefully we can pick up another three points and maybe start to break away from them. Fully rotated the squad in this one, so well, might be a bit of a more difficult game. But I'm going to try and keep the faith, and I think we can get another win. Pull her in! Oh my god! It's 1-0. I don't know what's happened there, like. Looks like an absolute beast him though, I think he's just used his strength. Need to have a look at that again. Ball came in. Defence just wasn't good enough. I don't know who that was, whether it was Kozar or what. Whoever it was, I can't work that out. He just didn't have the strength to hold him off and we're 1 0 down. For sure. Cardozo! Come on, son! That's what I'm talking about. 1 1. I've said it in a few episodes, but I love this lad. He's, like I say, he's only like a 62 or 63 rated forward at the minute. But when you do stuff like that, you've got to love him. Well, here's the replay. He didn't Made that nice little run. Ball in. Good really good strike, especially for his rating. Come on, son. One more look. There was no chance of getting a hold of that leg. None. Come on, what can you do with it, son? Marin, come on. Oh. Silva. Oh, looks like they could be in again. What a save, man. Oh. 
Cole could be in yet. Oh my god, what happened there, man? That was just terrible defending. De Silva, what? Another save from Garcia. Cardozo. For sure. Can he do it? He can! Come on, son! That's what I'm talking about. We've pulled it back. Pull. Oh, nice little 2 1 for it. We ended up holding on. Didn't know if we were going to turn it around there, like, but I'm happy. Saying four shows, keeping up his run of form after that goal. He does deserve all the praise. He amazes all performances like these. The unbeaten. Why do they keep bringing this up? Well, I have what it takes. You managed to win a close match with a decisive goal in the second half. What do you think made the difference in today's game? We were the better team. There you go. Thank you. That's all the questions we have for you. Nibal, I love. See you later. Cardiff City up next then. It's only literally a couple of days later. I wish EA would sort this out, but we'll just have to work with it for now. We'll attend this press conference, get the lads' morale up, okay, see what they've got to say. The your recent form suggests you're on track. Uh, our momentum isn't dropping. Close call in your previous match. What's your strategy? Uh... No, we'll beat Cardiff City too. We might as well go in. Giving it a big in. We can win. Team is basking in great form recently. Do you think they can continue? We can do even better. There's more to come from this team. You just wait and see, you mug. There we go, then. Let's get into this game. I'm hoping we'll play a lot better than this one. We might have won the last game, but I don't think we played great. I'm hoping to close this one out pretty early on. Phillips. I see De La Vega making a run. He's got the pace on him. He's through. Can't, oh, he can't finish. Come on, Bordeaux, make that run. He has. What's that? Is that a penalty or a free kick? That's got to be a red, surely. It's only a yellow. I barely ever see red cards on this. Like I think I've seen one. And it was in one of the last episodes. Hey, come on. Oh, Jesus, man. How wet. There we go, Hernandez. Still Hernandez. Saves it. Oh, my God. What the hell happened there? Should have passed it. 100%. Gibbs White. Bordeaux. Graven Birch. Come on. Hernandez. Still Hernandez. Plays it, Gibbs White. Oh, you should have. Come on, mate. Come on, man. Not how I was wanting that to go. Nil-nil. We just did not play good enough. We had some chances that we should have easily put away, but we didn't. And as a result of it, we're currently in second place now. It's not the end of the world. We're still only halfway through the season, but still, Stoke City have pulled ahead. They're now on 48 points. So we really need to dial things up in the rest of this episode. A little bit of training in here for the lads. Hall's doing all right. He's up to a 65 now. Marin, he's on to a 71. And Wagnerman, he's nearly up to a 60. So, quite happy with them. Game up against Fulham now then. And I'm hoping the lads can play a lot better. The team's going to remain unchanged. But, fingers crossed, we can actually pick up the three points this time. We need to keep the pressure on Stoke. Graham Birch. Bordeaux. Cuts in. Come on, you just he's not good enough. Oh, they made a mistake. Bordeaux! Oh, I thought he had scored. He might need to come off him. How he's missed this, man. Come on. Gibbs White. De La Vega. Phillips is making a run. He's in. Shoots. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Graven Birch. Why has he passed it out to De La Vega? I would take the shot. Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, we've scored. Bodu just has not been good enough in this match. Like, he's really making us question whether I should sell him or not. Fulham look like they could be in here. Mitrovic, what a goal! What a goal! I can't even be annoyed at that. I knew he'd be dangerous in the box. Oh my God! He's come back to haunt us. I wasn't happy when he left Newcastle, and then he's went and done that. We're gonna have to have another look at this. 
Nice little ball in. Look at that, man. It's overhead. Fair enough, son. One more look. <laughs> it was pretty good, like. Follow him with a corner. Balls in. Mitrovic again. Oh, God. What a save. Stupid mistake to try and pass the ball out. But another save from Kassia. I'm surprised Mitrovic did not put that away there, like. Follow my piling on the pressure, yeah, like. We have just not been good enough. Oh, my God. How's he missed that? How's he open goal? Oh, you absolute mug. Look at that, man. <laughs> oh, come on. See what we've got to ask on that. 1-1. One, one. Fulham should have won 100%, man. Did Berardi refuse to sign another deal with Leeds? Eh? I hope he signs. I don't know what the hell's going on there. Berardi is a key player in my plans and I hope he understands my commitment to the future at Leeds. None beaten. We'll have what it takes. Yada, yada, yada. Come on. We all saw two evenly matched teams go head-to-head -head in a match that, by looking at the scoreboard, seemed quite une uneven. Two strong defences, even though we weren't. Like The defenders and the goalkeepers were on top of their game. The results both ones and twos. I still, they still need to sort that out. Game up against Preston now then. And Stoke have pulled away the three points ahead of us now. So we're desperate for a win to keep that pressure on. I'm hoping anyway. Oh, come on. Costa. Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Oh, Roberts, man. He's made a massive mistake. Oh, what a save, man. Oh, that was close. Preston's got the ball in. Off the bar. Oh, my God. Absolutely terrible defending. They were knocking on the door for ages. I mean, it's ball in. Salisu does nothing with it. Why you played it back out, I don't know what's going on there. Nketiah. Oh, he's got the pace. Nketiah's in here. Plays it across. Come on! Marin makes it 2-1. That's what I'm talking about, lads. This is more like it. Nketiah. Oh, man. Change of game since he's come on. Might not seem like much in these highlights, but he has. I'm not overly impressed with Fabio Silva at the minute. Like He's absolutely buzzing with it, though. Roberts. Nketiah. Can we close it out? He can. Boom. 3-1. Oh, I'm glad I brought him on, like. It's made all the difference, that lad. Here's him, Roberts. Marin! Come on, son! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we've just dialed it up. What a turnaround in that game. We played extremely average. We brought Nketiah on. And then straight away, we went from 1-1 to 4-1. Two goals to secure the win. Marin was the hero. It was an overall great performance. He was. He was really good. I'm getting happier and happier when it comes to that lad. Like, what we got next? Leeds on beaten. We've seen this over and over again. Man, we have what it takes. We're expecting a more competitive match. No challenge. Not from Preston anyway. Come on. Thanks. Right, thank you. See you later. Just promoted this lad. Reese Hall. He's up to a 65. And look at that. An exciting prospect. This is exactly what we wanted to see. I'm really happy with him. I mean... I don't know what to do in regards to the goalkeeper situation. I know Casillas will be on a pre-contract, so unless we buy him before the window opens, we're going to have to wait until next season to bring him in. So let us know. Shall we put our faith in Casilla for the rest of this season? Build this lad up, so he's going to be up there and probably coming into the first team when we reach the Premier League. Let us know in the comments. Be interesting to know what you think. Last game of the episode now then, and I'm hoping we can close things out with another win. That last game, we absolutely smashed Preston at the end. So if we can play like that from the beginning, I think we'll give Birmingham a run for the money. Back to the first team for this one. We're going to be going for it. I'm hoping Bordeaux can put in a performance like Nketiah. If he doesn't like, he's coming off and Nketiah's going to be getting another chance. 
Phillips has picked that up. Come on, Graven Birch. Gibbs White. Loads of time. Come on, son. 1 0. This is the start that we wanted. He's in. Turns him. Gibbs White again. Oh, man. How the. Oh, the lucky. Lucky. I thought he would have been making it two there. Nice little deflection for him, though. Phillips. Gibbs White. Come on. Come on, son. What a goal. What a goal, son. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's on fire, this lad, like. Let's have a look at that again. Not a chance in hell. I see you making that run, son. Hernandez pulls it back. Gives White. Graven Birch, come on, that's what I'm talking about. 3-0, that's it, secure. Well done, son. Really happy with that last game. Winning 3-0. Gibbs White was the difference. He's just so good. I'm so happy that we picked him up. Looking at the table, though, after that 3-0 win, we're currently sitting in second, won 54 points. Stoke City are top with 55. Swansea City are in third, but the five points behind us, so we're in a pretty comfortable position. We've got the second half of the season to come, and I think we can definitely push to get into the Premier League within this season. I'm hopeful anyway. With that being said, the next episode, we're going to be having the transfer window opening. So let us know, is there any players that we should look to bring in? What should we do in regards to that goalkeeper position? I'm a bit up in the air with it myself, but we're going to leave that one there. So if you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, maybe subscribe. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.